Liberal leader Justin Trudeau recently said that if he's elected as the next Prime Minister in October, he will waste no time ending cannabis prohibition. In an interview with CKNW, Trudeau said he would put forth legislation to legalize the plant in his first session of Parliament. Trudeau said, It is our intention to move on this in a very rapid fashion. There were some mistakes made south of the border that we can learn from, but it is something we plan on moving on immediately. Trudeau continued with his reasoning behind this sweeping change. We need to protect our kids. We need to make sure that the money isn't flowing into the pockets of criminal organizations and street gangs. And right now, Mr. Harper's plan is doing exactly that. And the fact is, on medical marijuana, this government has been completely contradictory in its approach, which is leading to a tremendous amount of strain. So we have committed to controlling and regulating marijuana and to getting moving on it right away, a Canadian way in the first months and years. Of course, the Conservatives continue to attack this plan every chance they get. For example, Nina Gruel, Conservative MP for Fleetwood Port Kells, recently had the audacity to claim that Trudeau's pot plan has already increased gang violence in places like Surrey, BC. On April 28th, in the House of Commons, she said, Residents of my riding and across all of British Columbia are concerned about the crime epidemic in Surrey. Unfortunately, the Liberals and NDP have opposed and obstructed us every step of the way. The Liberal solution to drug-fueled gang warfare is to make marijuana easier for our children to buy and smoke. However, many former BC politicians and law enforcement have contradicted this odd connection made by the Conservative MP, saying this violence is actually a result of the Harper Conservatives' war on drugs. The Conservatives continue to display their inability to govern by ignoring the data and will of Canadians.